Yo, Yo welcome to the Gas Talk. And today we're going to be talking about social media and the music industry. So, Brown is our special guest, and we're going to be talking about like what type of social media do you use today, like the most? Today, um, I mostly use uh, Facebook. What y'all think about Facebook? I use oh, Facebook too, but yeah. no, YouTube. That's and TikTok. TikTok. That's the um, main app I use. I know a lot of like famous, popular people. They use Twitter. So what do you use like Facebook like like music or just like for like friends, family, all of that? What you use it for? I use Facebook pretty much to network for network with uh, old colleagues, classmates. So do y'all think that like social media is a good thing or a bad thing? It's both. It's good. Well, it all depends how you use it. Cause you could use it in a bad way. Thanks for that. It is a good like business app. Like if you got a business or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, everybody can promote your yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. Use it, you know, clothes brands, shoe brands. Actually, you think you can last without social media? Yes. How long? You know, I can last because you got to realize social media is still new to you guys in your era, in my era growing up. He was one of those, like, the box computer. <laughs> like, <laughs> computers were even, like, only thing, like, computers were only for, like, a, te a test that you had to take, and you had to have headphones on, and it was just you and that computer. That's great. But how has it uh, affected your life? I'm able to touch a lot of more fans, and uh, broaden my audience for what I do. Do you think it made your, made your life easier? Yeah, it may promote me. <laughs> so what do you mostly do in the music industry? Is it just DJ or anything? I don't know. I run uh, CIA Records. This is my regular label. Um, it's a regular label. So you be uh, you, you on the uh, regular label? Yeah. Uh, you produce. Yeah, producer. You a producer? I'm a producer. I'm a, producer. I'm a writer. You got a studio? I make beats. You got a studio. Oh, bro, hey, what is, why is this my first time hearing this? Bro? <laughs> I ain't never, I never <laughs> expected it. You need a little bit. Like, uh, Chicago's like divided with the little gangs and stuff yeah. like that. I feel like that makes it even better for the music scene because like people love that drama. It has its place, but at the end of the day, if if you wanted to make money and to feed your family, mm -hmm. like it's one thing to sell something, uh, uh, image or sell something for publicity. Mm -hmm. We have we have entertainment shows that do that for us. Like that's why we come up with reality TV and stuff like yeah. that. So we have platforms that you can get all the drama you want to, but having real life drama. Mm -hmm. And I think those people, you know, those type of fans, don't understand that they're actually pouring. You know, gasoline on the fire because it's real people losing their lives for real. And just because you got a, a like or you know you're doing these things for posts or for clout, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, somebody get buried behind that, like for real. This is why you behind the screen, like entertained by it. Just know somebody affected by it. Just get it across. Like I'm quite sure it's a lot of makeup beats out here that just to sell records. Like mm -hmm. people been doing gimmick music. Okay, where do you see like social media and like? the music industry in 10 years from now. And this has in like promoting wise, like what, how do you see it? Yeah, I think it, I think it is definitely going to be a, uh, they, they're gonna do some overhauls because they have to realize that they are directly affecting people's lives with allowing certain things. Like to be looking on live and somebody getting shot, killed, hurt or whatever. Yeah, that's that type of stuff need to be pulled down immediately. And I think in the future they gonna realize that. But people getting Asian people shit, getting bullied on social media platforms. I think that's gonna go up, and I think they're really gonna just just have a better uh, handle on what what they're viewing across their platforms, right? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, like yeah, they into making money, right? But all money ain't good. Money. Exactly. So at the end of the day, especially if it, somebody else got to imagine you being a parent and you and some for a like or a post, somebody hurt one of your loved ones, and the video going viral. Regardless of that, you don't want to see that and you don't want the world to be looking in on that pain constantly every day, right? So I think them having the grips on that and pulling it down, like I think we're going to see more of that. Like yeah, they, stuff, they, they stuff ain't going to last out there like it usually, like, you know, they wait a minute for people to get it. So I think it's going to be like out. sending dead bodies like that, yeah. like bomb body. Like, I saw bomb, like, what? Why was that on Facebook, bro? Yeah, bomb yeah. body dead. Why do we think that that was done? Because somebody just wanted to clout. They just wanted. Yeah, so I think that's that's the one thing that if you if you pull that away mm -hmm. and that realize people are not you're not going to get more uh, subscribers or more views because you're putting up this and, and 
and people watching your page and, and watching how you do your social media off of those type of things, then I think it'll be it'll become it'll clean itself up. So there was a post uh, a girl had posted something with guns, right? She went to prom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I saw pointing, that. Yeah, pointing the gun. They had the gun pointing. Yeah, in the picture. She got accepted to HBCU. So they took they look they took it back from her or whatever. Her so every, yeah, her scholarship because yes. she um post the picture. How you feel about that? When you get a scholarship, they're not only giving it for the top the sport that you're playing, mm -hmm. they also want your character. Your, your appearance. And they want who you are as a person. And if this is the image that you want out there yourself and putting yourself, I mean, we're yeah, talking yeah. about higher education. It was it a smart move? No, 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 no you just made it from the state. Yeah, she got it learn from it. In the and I don't think no other schools are gonna probably give her a scholarship. Yeah. She might have to pay for right. college, but she still can. She can show that she learned. But again, you somebody was paying for you to do something because they only not only do they pay for you as the athlete, they pay for your image, they pay for what you represent at that university, and you doing that, they not paying for that image. They don't want that ain't who they expect them to come and show up at their campus. So by you doing that, you've opened up another, made them think about it like. Maybe this we got. We can get this money to that other person, right, that, right. because quite sure that's the anything. Yeah, you like, well, like once you bring that to the school, or something like that. It's like, yeah. why would I want this? I got somebody else. No, but you also have people that was in line right. behind that, so that yeah. who, who probably they may could have had a decision between her and two other people, right. and they gave it to her. Right. But at the end of the day, like her making that mistake, it's always somebody behind you. It's always a scholar or somebody behind you that's waiting for some fin waiting for some financial assistance. Somebody could have, they could have gave both of the young ladies or whomever behind the partial scholarships because at the end of the day, like you taking the college of character and they, they, they can, they, if you never perform, say she hurt herself on her first time going out, they still gonna bag her because they, they put the support behind her and they said they had, they had her and understand like, we want you. Mm -hmm. But say she didn't hurt herself or whatever, like they, they still would have paid for her to be there whether she hurt herself or not, but now she hurt her image. Ain't no coming back with really it from that. Right. She represented, not only she represented her pe people and herself, she was representing her HBCU because she right. had posted that. She right. Had accepted that. Yeah, that's just what she signed to. Right. right. And that, they just want everybody to know, like, right. yeah, we, 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 we sorry for our judgment. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That our judgment called on taking right. that student. Yeah, we no longer want, want you guys to realize that's not we. That's crazy because it was based off a picture, though. Like, she didn't even say nothing, do not, it was a picture. She said no. Well, I mean, this is, I mean, we can talk about how social media affect. She wasn't the first athlete. We have people who are pictures, you know, right. are pictures affect the deal on uh, their road. That's, that's like a good thing. Like, if they do life like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, social media is a choice. You gotta understand what you can and yeah. cannot post. Yeah, because that was, that was right. What, what we had the conversation, we like, we've been sitting talking. We've been saying people that use the positive mm -hmm. and negative. So in that sense, she used the negative, and what did she think she was going to get? She got the negative yeah, so result. Yeah. When you post that stuff, you put an image on this. Mm -hmm. And it never goes away. Like the, the, how do you think so, people going to look at you like that? Like, that wasn't even attractive like, when she was doing that. It was like, why is she even those guns right there? Like, she had one on her dress. Why no, the like, bad thing was, once it go viral, people were taking that. that too. Yeah. Like, she wasn't just the only person who was doing that. But she but probably going on with the scholarship, though. Like, yeah, that's true. She got so other, other people. Like, other, I mean, other people probably wasn't yeah, going yeah. to college anymore, yeah. but she had a scholarship to go to right. college. Pay. Yeah. She had something behind that, and she just messed it up. Well, outside of that, what do you guys think about people using uh, social media just to post with their guns? Anyway, I feel like it's pointless. That's not, that's, it's pointless. pointless. It's pointless. Like, now you saw people that you got going, they can just rock. I'll go whatever. Like, let me say something. Yeah, go ahead and say On some real, like, it'd be like, for example, like, I got beef with people. Post something with their guns or whatever, but it's pointless because you you posting all this or whatever, and ain't, ain't nobody using it. You just doing it for an image to let somebody know what you got. But then when the heat go down, ain't nobody feel me finna slide. I was like, probably not finna use the guns just for show. Right, just fashion. Right. 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 Just right. 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 go back to us using social media negative. I mean, you just want the like or the, the, the like for somebody to the view image. it, and now you run the, and and that's again it's. Yeah, like it, it, that's why that's yeah, stereotypes it, it, on certain so people. It, it, yeah. it is. I mean, because we we it don't represent ourselves the, the, right the, the show off yeah. of it or whatever. Right. Like you know, people social media affect affect our communities in, in right. more ways than one.
Yeah, it's bad when you, like, you want people to people mm-hmm. taking pictures of what they're eating for dinner. You got people who post they and they post themselves out of town, and then when they come back to town, they have a house been robbed. Rob. Yeah, like, that's it's, like, it's, right. it's just certain stuff that don't need to you don't uh-huh. need to post so much. Like, think whatever you post to read, it's yeah. still up. They just you know, yeah. I, I, like like females be going on the, um, Facebook or something crying on live like. What's the point of crying? Why, why, why are you crying? your mind on social media. People don't get you know what I'm saying? Know your relationship. Yeah, people be like, putting their whole business on right. social media. I mean, like, like, oh, everything yeah. ain't meant to go on social media. Fools, you gotta keep yeah. stuff to yourself. And keep you'll never know. Media. Like You can have somebody trying to like, uh, like hurt uh, you sabotage type, you or something right, like right, that. Type, and I didn't know all your business. Like, so they people, know what to do, what to say. People be on Instagram. Yeah, I'm saying like, what if you break up with your girl? Something like that. Oh, I broke up with my girl. This or something like that. Now somebody else probably wants your girl. Not even go for her. Just like why you like put your stuff on it? That was this episode of Gas Talk. Thank you, Brown, for coming to talk with us today. Really appreciate it. And gas, gas out. out.